What's up guys? I'm Claymore and today we're going back to the YouTube series where we took a look at a couple different concepts for old mages and you guys chose which one you wanted me to bring into a final piece. Now the mage that you guys chose was the more adventury looking mage with all kinds of belts and different little accessories and it looks like he's been on the road for a while so maybe his clothes are, are a little bit more worn and torn in a few areas. Now, for this specific image, I'm going to be continuing experimenting with the starting in black and white and transitioning into color. So first, you'll see me complete the entire piece in black and white, and then I'll do a couple of the layer blending options to lay color over the entire piece. So let's get into it. The first thing I do is underneath my outline layer, I block in a kind of darker gray, and then on top of that, I block in my rough shadows, where things are gonna be placed, just so I can see a general shape of everything. With my shadows pretty firmly in place, I start looking at where I want some of my highlights to be. And then once I choose where my highlights are going to be, I can start pushing the, the gray tones around to really make things feel solid and realistic. I jump right into the background because rendering a character when it's just a flat background is actually really difficult. If you do your background first, you'll know what you're trying to contrast with. From here, I'm really starting to render everything, making sure all of my base shades are extremely solid, getting rid of that original outline, and I start building highlights up on top of that to really make it pop, but you need to be careful with how much highlight you use because if you use it too often, then it's not as special and it won't draw the eye as well. Through this process, I want to make sure that I'm getting rid of the really blocky brush strokes that I used to initially get my shape, and I want to fade those out but at the same time, I'm making sure I have nice hard ridge lines where they are necessary. That way the whole picture just doesn't feel blurry and out of focus.
I tried my best to also add a few different textures into his ensemble, that way it stands out. Like the bell is almost like a scale, le leathery type bell, and the cloth is more of a canvassy cloth. That way it wasn't all just a single texture. It was a conscious effort I made throughout the piece to make sure that anything that was far away from my focal point, which was the head of the staff, his face, and his basically shoulders and up, everything further away from that got less and less detailed. That way it would seem out of focus so your eye is always drawn back to the detailed portions. For the staff, I was going for this really rough, uh, deep-grained wood look. Like, it's old, it's seen some use, it's been through weather. And by highlighting just the grains and then using a clipping mask on top, I was able to just highlight the grains while keeping it nice and dark underneath, giving it a really raised and rich feeling. Now, getting into color, I wanted it to be a bit more subdued, and I wanted a good transition of kind of cold to warm. So the areas closer to the glowing light of the staff were colder, and then it slowly, as it went from left to right, it got warmer, like the other light that's kind of behind him is a reddish tone. And with all that said and done, I am super happy with how this turned out. I love how the age of the staff reflects the age of the actual character. He feels old and used and worn and broken in and like he's seen a lot of shit. I can't thank you guys enough for participating in this series and I hope you like it as much as I do. I feel like it really turned out pretty sweet. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to come watch me live then join me on my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on my Twitter to chat and get frequent updates. So until next time, have a good one.